tonight, we want to say thank you to Lech Wałęsa and to let him know that we have not forgotten the importance of that moment in 1980 when he jumped over that shipyard wall in Gdansk to join his fellows. He had been fired, so he was rejoining them as colleagues and to create the first free trade union and actually really the first independent institution of any kind in the communist world. Earlier this month, as been noted previously, I introduced a resolution commemorating the 30th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall and the rise of democracy in Eastern Europe. My hope is, and was when I introduced that, that this resolution not only celebrates the hard-fought democracy in Eastern Europe, but it encourages activists around the world to keep pushing. As we see today in Hong Kong, in Venezuela, in Russia, freedom and democracy will be achievable for these people, but sometimes it's when you least expect it. But as we celebrate this anniversary, we must not forget that dem democracy is never finished. You don't just attain it and then claim victory. It is a work ongoing, a constant adjustment in changing times. I'm proud of the strides that uh, Poland and its Eastern European neighbors have made, and I thank all of the people that gave up so much to create a better world for their children and their grandchildren, and really, for the world. A humble electrician from the working class Polish city of Gdansk spoke before a joint session of the United States Congress. He described his years long struggle for freedom and asked for support from the United States. And that man, of course, was soon to be President Valesa. More than anyone else, President Valesa helped us understand the heroic and honorable fight that the people of Poland and others throughout Central and Eastern Europe were waging to win their freedom over dictatorship. When you see people struggling for their freedom and actually winning the fight, it's really something that's, that's mind-changing, that's life-changing, that's, that's a cause that we all know is important and we all want to believe in. So, President Valesa, thank you so much. Today we honor the bravery, the tenacity, the discipline, the innate goodness of Nobel Peace Prize winner Lech Walesa and the great organization, the labor organization that he led, Solidarity. Now, I got elected in 1980 with Ronald Reagan. We always looked up to this man and couldn't believe what he was accomplishing uh, against all odds. So I want to thank him for that leadership. It is extraordinary. Americans uh, sometimes don't appreciate that democracy doesn't exist everywhere in the world. In fact, when I do town hall meetings, I frequently at the end will say, this is what's great about this country. Someone can come in and criticize a public official and not leave in handcuffs that night. But that's the way it is in a lot, large part of the world. And that's the way it was when Lech Walesa was in Poland. The bottom line is that 30 years ago, 31 years ago, I was getting commissioned as a naval officer, never to imagine how quickly after that the dominoes would fall and in fact democracy would take root in Central and Eastern Europe, but it did. I spoke of solidarity as an inspiration in my first congressional campaign in uh, September in that same year of 1989. And since, since then, my husband and I have always shown the solidarity symbol so that the new generation does not forget. We've got to teach the young people about the history of what went on so we can celebrate the present and cherish the new tomorrow. And while I am certain that the Polish people are justly proud of their 1989 accomplishments, I'm also certain that the Polish people do not fully recognize how inspirational their actions were to the rest of the world. What an inspiration your movement and you have been to enslaved and oppressed people everywhere. Muchísimas gracias, amigo. Despite experiencing dismemberment in the 1700s and again during World War II, the Poles love of liberty simply could not be suppressed. And I would hope that some of you here tonight could help me build a path for liberty across Poland and remember some of these stories and remind the younger generation of Poland as well as the United States of what the cost of liberty truly is. The favorite expression of my favorite cavalryman always was, freedom means never surrender, never. And I thought, what a lesson 
what a lesson for our own people, and what a lesson for the future. The Berlin Wall fell because communism had already fallen in Poland. Leszek Balcerowicz and Lech Wałęsa were betting on the Polish people. I mean, that was a big bet, right? Nobody had overthrown communism before. So there was no body of knowledge, there was no science to post-communist transformation because nobody expected it would ever happen. They bet on the Polish people to step up. And they did. And it worked. This is a woodcut of the goddess of democracy, which is the statue that was put up in Tiananmen Square before the tanks came in on June 4th, 1989. By the way, I think it's worth noting that the election in Poland, the breakthrough election, was June 4th, 1989, the very same day that the tanks rolled in to Tiananmen Square and destroyed this statue. It's quite important, and that this is the gift and the award that we want to give to Lech Wałęsa. Dlatego ja przyjeżdżam z prośbą do was. To jest nowa epoka. W każdej dziedzinie rozwiązania starej epoki nie pasują do tej epoki. Dziś w wielu państwach większość nie chodzi na wybory, a więc gdzie jest demokracja? A zapamiętajcie, że tak będzie, jeśli nie poprawimy tego, to za 20-30 lat będą chodzić na wybory tylko ci, co kandydują. Bo reszta zdegustowana polityką i politykami nie będzie chodzić na wybory. Widzicie i po Stanach Zjednoczonych i po innych państwach świata. Społeczeństwa żądają zmian. Wybierają na przywódców tych, którzy mówią, że będą zmieniać. Ale dobrze, że oni są, bo oni nas zmuszają do poszukiwań rozwiązań lepszych niż oni proponują. I to pozbieramy i mądrze ułożymy, to świat naprawdę będzie dużo lepszy i bezpieczniejszy. Z tego miejsca bardzo dziękuję Stanom Zjednoczonym za wielką pomoc w tym uzyskaniu tych możliwości. Pan Bóg błogosławi Ameryce i Polsce.